Well, good morning, homesteaders. This is Jay at Harvest Moon Homestead. Gotta apologize first uh, for not having any videos out this last week. We are just so overwhelmed with everything we got going on here, trying to get ready for winter, trying to get fall stuff in, now trying to get stuff in for next year's crops. Uh, it's just been nuts, and we just haven't had time. And to top it off, did do a video, and somehow during editing yesterday, I deleted everything, the whole video, off the computer, off the camera, being the tech genius that I am, I don't know what I did, but it's gone. So we were doing garlic yesterday, and it's lost, I've already planted the garlic. It's that time of the year where you want to get your garlic in the ground. Garlic is very important for you. One, it tastes great in your food, and it's a very, very healthy uh, food source for you. So uh, if you don't plant garlic, boy, you need to look into that and get some garlic planted. Uh, give you a brief update on how we did it, what we did it with. First off, I've got this handy dandy tool here that you can't get anywhere. What it is, it's a cane, or it was a cane, picked up for a quarter of a yard sale. Cut it off, sharpen the point, and boy, it makes the dandiest holes for dropping garlic bowl, uh, cloves down in, or if you're doing your bush beans in the spring and stuff. This I've used this thing for so many years, for so many types of planting for bigger seeds and bigger beans and stuff. Pick yourself up a cane, cut her down, and boy, you've got a tool you'll use year after year after year. Um, when you're planting your garlic, make sure you get the root end, that's that bottom end, toward the root ball off the bulb. Get that down, root, roots down. Make sure the point is up and the roots are down, otherwise you're going to have your plants trying to go all wooky weird and stuff like that. Uh, plant them about two to three inches deep, about three, four inches apart. And Philip, we planted probably 300 cloves yesterday. So come next June, July, we're going to have garlic everywhere again. Uh, plant them, get them planted now, so the time of year to plant them. They'll start coming up out of the ground. Let them get up out of the ground. And then if you're in a climate that gets really cold weather and stuff, throw a layer of straw every, over it all for the winter time. And then the plants will continue to grow up through it. And then at some point, they'll look like they all died off. Well, they didn't. They're just chilling out for the winter time. Uh, come spring, they'll come right back through all that straw on there. Then June or July, your garlic will uh, start getting escapes on it, start browning and turning over. That's when you dig the garlic up. So give that a shot. If you don't do it, I mean, it's an important food source. So get it in. And while we're on the subject of food, which we touched on the video that I magically made disappear, it is time for a shout out. And Amy would be here to say shout out, but Amy's not here. So this week's shout out is CB's Greenhouse and Garden. I mean, we were talking about food. Food is important to us, us, and I'm sure it's important to most all you other homesteaders that grow your own foods for the quality of food, for the lack of chemicals on it and stuff. He's got some great videos over there on tips, on gardening, planting, getting your seeds going, the whole package. All of his videos pretty much are food related. So, uh, if food is important to you, uh, us and you, go over and check out CB's Greenhouse and Gardens. Uh, I'll get a link up here to it, and I'll also put a link to him down below. Go check him out. Um, like I said, I wasted most of the video, so this is just going to be a short, quick one here. Get your garlic in. Go over and check out CB's Greenhouse and Gardens. Great site, great videos, all about food over there, buddy. Go see him, say hi to him, give him a shout out over there. Uh, if you're not subscribed to us, hit the subscribe button. You want to be updated, hit the little bell next to it when we put up updates on there. You get a chance, a lot of you haven't done it yet. We need you to go over to our website, link will be down below. Go to our website, check it out, check out Amy's blogs over there, things she puts up. Go to our store if you're so inclined. Christmas is coming up. There might be that special gift in there you might need for somebody. Um, I'm going to go in and change clothes here and get to working out in the yard. I'm going to wish you all a good day. And again, sorry about the lack of videos. We'll try to get it back, picked back up here again real soon. So you take care and you all have a good day.